Hi, my name is Dr. Michelle Kelman. I'm a pediatric dentist here in the Cedar sinai Medical Office Towers, and I'm a pediatric dentist on the pediatric surgical team here in the Cedar sinai Medical Center. Yeah. So what does a pediatric dentist do? Well, we evaluate children from age birth all the way up until they leave for college, and we treat children with special needs. We also treat adults with special needs. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about frenulums. So what is a frenulum? A frenulum is that little tissue tag that connects your inside lip to the gums. There's four different kinds. There's the one that attaches right up to your gums. There's the one that goes to right above where your teeth meet. There's the one that goes right through your teeth and then all the way through your teeth to the back of the gum. If there is too much tissue in between the teeth, then it's too difficult to floss, it's too difficult to brush, there can be bleeding with flossing, there can be bleeding with brushing, and with all that food stuck in there, you can get pre-cavities, which later can lead to cavities, and that's what we want to avoid. Cavity prevention is the most important thing for us. Also, we want to make sure that there's no pain. So if we're pulling up the lip and the kid is going, ow, 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 and the tissue is blanching, well, that's a huge concern for us. But we are not concerned if there is a gap in between the teeth. Orthodontists and pediatric dentists will agree that if the gap is there, we're going to wait until the two front teeth come in that are permanent, the two permanent side teeth come in, then we'll evaluate how the canines are coming in, if that tissue needs to be removed. Because more often than not, the whole tissue thing in the middle of the teeth and the whole gap will resolve itself. Another concern is speech. Parents wonder, will that gap cause speech issues for my child? Can there be a lisp? Can there be a stutter? Well, most speech therapists will agree that if there is a very large overbite, if there is a very large overjet, which is when the teeth come out this way, or if the tongue can't properly move, then yes, there can be speech concerns. But if there's a gap in there, don't worry. Overall, this tissue that's in between the lip and the gums, it's only a big deal if your kid is in pain, bleeding, possibly at risk of getting cavities, but for everything else, we're just going to let time take its course. So we've been talking about the maxillary frenulum, but there's also a mandibular frenulum, which is the one that is on your lower gum. That connects the inside of your lower lip to your lower gum. Now sometimes that one could be a little bit tight too and start pulling down on the gum of your two lower front teeth. If we see that on your child's exam, we'll definitely let you know and it can be taken care of. We've reviewed maxillary frenulums and concerns such as tightness, pain, bleeding, cavity formation, the gap in between your teeth, and speech. We've also slightly talked about the mandibular frenulum and how it can affect gum recession. If there are any questions, you should definitely seek out your local pediatric dentist. Or if you're in the Los Angeles area, come on by. You'll find my information at the end of this video.